rocks. They're everywhere. Hey, you might just see a you might just see a like a garden of rocks. You might like, hey look there's rocks. But now I'm gonna show you a few rocks and how they're classified. So when you walk around, you know what rocks are now. Shall we begin? Okay, here are what we're gonna be learning about. Igneous rocks and how they're classified into intrusive and extrusive rock. Second is gonna be sedimentary rocks, which we're classified in, which we're gonna, I'm gonna classify in organic, plastic, and chemical. Third is metamorphic rock, and how they're classified by foliated and non-foliated rocks. And finally, I'm going to show you about the rock cycle and how it and how it keeps going and going and never ends, and the shortcuts in between. Now let's get started. All right, here is igneous rocks, and and there's intrusive and extrusive rocks. Igneous rocks, which forms by the crystallization of magma at the depth within the earth are called intrusive rocks, which you can see is granite. And extrusive rocks. Igneous rocks, which formed by the crystallization of magma at the surface of the earth, are called extrusive rocks. And obsidian. I know ba basalt's the most common one, but who likes basalt? I mean, look at obsidian. It's like amazing. Here comes sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are classified in organic, plastic, and uh, chemical. Okay. Organic, sedi organic sedimentary rocks form from the accumulation and lithification of organic debris, such as leaves, roots, and other plants or, or, or animal materials, such as limestone. Everybody knows limestone. Plastic rocks. Plastic rocks form when weathering causes large rocks to break apart into smaller pieces known as sediment. These sediments are then moved away from the or original site by the na natural process like wind, rain, and the uh, uh, action of rivers. Sorry about that. And one is known as conglomerate. And finally, it's going to be and finally one type of rock is chemical. As the name implies, chemical sedimentary rocks form due to the ke chemical reaction. These reactions occur when within water that is saturated with positive and negative charged atoms, known as, uh, and here's an example of one, hematite. Then I'll go to metamorphic rock. Okay, they're classified into foliated or non-foliated rocks. Okay, let's look for uh, gneiss. Foliated metamorphic rocks such as gneiss display, no, nice, it's nice, sorry, sorry. Nice. Display banding and regrouping of the min mineral constituents. I'm so, I don't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry. As a result of enormous pressure, the banding forms perpendicular to the direction of the pressure. And as you can see, the bands are the same way. All right, they're not like all mixed up in their weird ways. Okay, next is non-foliated. A non-foliated rock is a metamorphic rock that does not display a lamelor, a, a lamelor texture or distinct light and dark banding com common to foliated metamorphic rock, and that would be marble. That's just one. And now here's the one I really want to show: you, the rock cycle. And it, this is how I think it starts. Like you can start from any of these spots, but I think it starts. I think the, that most of them start at magma. Magma, it starts out of magma, then it goes all the way to volcanic eruption, or eruption, and then it goes to igneous rock, then it goes to sediment, then it turns into sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks, and then it keeps going over and over. But there's shortcuts in between, so it can come from here to here to here, and then go all the way to metamorphic rock and keep going like that. Or it might go to metamorphic rock and turn into sediment and go to sedimentary rock. Or it might just go right to igneous rock to magma. It just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Just shortcuts and shortcuts and maybe not even a shortcut. Maybe it doesn't. And that's the rock cycle. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your attention, class. Thank you, Miss Manhart, for teaching us about rocks. And thank you. review what we did today. First, we classified igneous rocks into intrusive and extrusive. Second, we did sedimentary rocks and we classified in organic, plastic, 
and chemical. Third, we did metamorphic rocks. It was, it was cl classified into foliated and non-foliated rocks. And then we did the rock cycle last, which we know now, now you know that the rock cycle keeps going and going and it never stops with shortcuts and all that. So now, now you know what the rock cycle is. Now, I mean, rocks. Now, if you want to tell your friends about, now if someone asks you about rocks, you know what to say. I'm Zach Tony, and I'll see you next time.